Okay, um, this is Windows 8. Um, I'm going to be taking you through a few differences between uh, Windows 8 and uh, Windows 8 Pro Edition if you are if you can't decide. Um, the version I'm going here, I can check my version by right clicking on computer and going to properties. And you can see here um, I'm on a Windows 8 Pro Edition. So I'm going to be able to show you um, what you can do here. Um, <coughs> whilst we're in this screen, uh, we can have a look at one of the first things um, you can do with the Pro. Um, like Professional on Windows 7 and Windows XP, um, you're going to require it if you're um, in a domain. So if you're at work, your computers are going to need to be Pro to um, be controlled by a domain controller. Um, the, the Windows domain can um, do group policies and this sort of thing. Um, so you do that by changing your settings here and changing your work group to, um, to your domain. Um, and then you can join your domain and have uh, seamless access to certain files and your emails and etc. Um, so y you have to go with this in, in a business environment. Um, but for most home users, that's not going to be required. Um, another thing that Windows 8 Pro um, has, if I just go to the start menu and type in BitLocker, um, is BitLocker Drive Encryption. Um, this uh, is BitLocker and BitLocker to go. Um, so it encrypts you either your whole drive um, and BitLocker to go um, will do your USB sticks, um, so you can encrypt them um, and make them a bit more secure. Um, bit too much hassle for me, but if this is something that you require, then upgrading to Pro is going to um, mean that you can have this. Um, another thing that you can do in Windows 8 Pro that you can't do in the standard version of Windows um, is boot from a virtual hard drive. So if you have a copy of uh, Windows 7 on a VHD, um, I don't know why you'd want one, but if you had one, you could um, you could boot from it. Um, on Windows 8 straight to the VHD. It worked in Windows 7 but it's a lot um, it's a lot better on Windows 8. Um, you don't have to dual boot as much as you can just boot straight to the virtual hard drive. Um, so another thing Windows 8 has that Windows 7 doesn't um, is Client Hyper-V. Um, sort of like XP mode back in um, Windows 7 using Windows Virtual PC. Um, but Hyper-V is a lot better. Um, you can run any 32-64 bit version of Windows um, and um, you can probably run Linux on it as well because it's just um, any VM that you want to run on it will it's probably going to work there. Um, I don't know if that's installed by default. Let's have a look. Hyper V. No. So to enable these sorts of things, you're probably going to have to go to Add to Remove Programs. I was typing Add Remove. Go to Settings. Add Remove Programs. It's probably going to Windows Features. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just I'm just guessing here, but I'm guessing client Hyper V is probably in a yeah Hyper V. So to enable Hyper V, you're going to have to tick that. Um, then you have your Hyper V tools to um, to play around with that one. Um, another thing um, is remote desktop host. That's the other thing in Pro um, that you're not going to have in the others. So um, from all versions of Windows, like before, you could remote from the version to your to your domain or to your terminal server, um, your remote desktop server, or to other machines. But you couldn't remote back into your PC. So if you want to remote to this screen, um, I this this computer I'm on at the moment, you're going to need version the Pro version to remote onto it. If you don't have the Pro version, you can use things such as Team Viewer, um, VNC, or Log Me In. Um, all those sorts of things, but to use the RDP, which I quite like, the, the basic one, um, the proper one, um, you're going to need Pro version. Um, whilst I'm still on the screen, another thing um, we're going to look at, which is the last thing, this is the main core difference between the Pro and um, the normal version, um, is the Media Center Pack. Um, in the version I've got here, you can enable it, no, sorry, that's Media Windows Media Player. Um, if you have to have Pro to buy uh, the Media Pack, which you again have to pay extra for, um, but it will only work on Pro. So if you're planning on setting up a, um, a media center um, home theater PC uh, with the media pack on, you're going to need to buy Pro to install it on because it won't install on your normal one. Um, so I hope that's clarified a few things for you and hope it's been useful. And uh, thanks for listening.